Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today we are playing Data Dealer, which is released under the Creative Commons license. So this video that I'm making right now is a remix under the Creative Commons license, so technically if you want to take what I'm saying here and auto-tune it or something later, you totally can. So anyway, here we are, welcome to the Data Dealer demo. Are you ready? Okay! This is your database. Or it might be database, I don't know, it might be French. It's ready to be filled with millions of first-class data sets. So as you can see, it seems to be a network with friends, age, IQ, likes, address, jobs, photos, and family. Okay. Underworld. For a little cash, your sources will supply you with the good stuff. Profile information. So we've got Nurse Mildred, Manny Mayer, Steve Sneak, and there's my database. Okay. Collect personal profiles and make sure that your data lines stay busy. So I need to be sure that people are sending stuff to me. So make a deal, time passes, collect. Okay. My empire. Create your own companies and online ventures. Dating sites, sweepstakes, and other stuff down there that connects as well. Ventures, uh, okay, they can, they're ideal tools for amassing profiles. Upgrade your ventures, advertise your products, and your team. Make money. Once you've amassed enough profiles, offer your database to interested companies for some much-needed cash, also known as moolah, bucks and or money. So then you cash in by making great deals and march and the money roll in. Okay, I'd like to do that. Let's take a peek. Your database is looking pretty well stocked with profiles. New profiles are waiting. Okay, so 945. Let's see. Hint, take a look at your database first and see what data needs bulking up. Okay, get ready. Any questions? Then check the help section. Fearless players jump right in. Okay, they suggest we start with the database first. Is there any sort of sign of a clock that's ticking? Doesn't seem like it. So, I don't have a lot of email addresses. Looks like I have plenty of sex, phone numbers, dates of birth, all that sort of thing. I've got 581 resumes, personnel records. You know the personal records of 500 or 5,891 people. Always late, prone to calling in sick, whistleblower, other red flags. Okay. So that's that's good. Resume, that's just, you know, what your resume is. That's, that's pretty straightforward. Oh, debt information. I know the financial status of 500... Five, why do I keep saying 100? 5,666 people. Student loans, paying off the monthly payments for a swanky TV, leasing a car. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And income. So, things I need right now, it looks like, is email addresses. So, here's database. I click My Empire to go back out here. I've never played this before. I'm learning. So, I can click Loyalty Cards or Personality Tests or Talk to Nurse Mildred. It seems like and I can get money by selling to these companies. Okay. So, it seems like Personality Tests might be the best way to get email addresses. Let's see what happens if I do that. Everyone loves online personality tests, and with their help, you can create detailed character profiles. Of course, to see the premium analysis of their laboriously filled out tests, participants just need to enter a few personal details. So I get IP address. I don't even think I had that one over there. Email. Okay, so I get 2,000 things and four thumbs down. So I've got 12 thumbs down up here. Does that Are, are, the, are those like costs? Like I only have so much karma to burn, if you will? Okay, it would cost me $900 to do logo design, $1,300 to do how faithful are you, test your IQ results via email. Okay, cool. So if I wanted to get their real addresses, I could do results via mail. Okay, what's ads? TV ads. Uh, classic paid posting. So these are ways to promote ex-athlete celebrity. Okay, so I could pay to promote my personality test. So right now, it would return 2,000 people and give me four thumbs down. So if I invest in... I'm going to put half my money into an ex-athlete. Or should I hire more people? Maybe I will hire more people. I think that uh, ad hottie. That's that's funny. I don't know exactly what that is. Your business runs on advertising, so you better hire some professionals. They'll melt people's brains without them even noticing. Minus one risk, plus 14,000 profiles, plus 70 investments. That looks like it's a solid thing. So uh, my risk bar at the top here is now slowly filling. So time is passing, apparently. Okay, that's good to know. So now if I go here and how do I actually do the personality test? How do I how do I summon it? How, how do I run it? Do I have to run an ad for it? Am I accumulating data as time is passing? 
I don't, I don't really get this, maybe. How do I collect on this? What would I, what would I click to say go? Let's try clicking in the TV ad. Maybe we need to promote it to, to tell people that we're doing it. Or maybe I'm slowly accumulating these anyway, but I could accumulate more. Huh. What about these loyalty cards? Is there a different way? Those don't get, oh, they do get me email. But there's not an obvious way to like, say, start on this. Well, we want to have a good logo. Uh, Pimpin' Your Venture is the best way to go. A slick company design will make it even easier to get customers to part with their data. So that'll give us 800 profiles and 20 investments. So if I hit buy, so that cost us money right away, but I'm not sure that I got the extra profiles. Huh, how do I... Oh, wait, 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 do I have to drag this into here? Is that how I... No, that's, that's, that's not how that works. Okay. Dang it, I thought I was on, I thought I was on, uh, okay. Well, what if I go to her? Nurse Mildred works at the county's largest hospital. For 20 years, she slaved away in the sick ward. Now her hours have been increased and her wages cut. Incidentally, she's got full access to the hospital's central database. She needs the money and would be willing to supply you with reliable data on patients' health status. That all looks good, but how do I, how do I activate this? I could get the weight of a bunch of people. Let's go to help. That's why it's here. Collect the best data delicacies from underground sources. Okay. Every element can be moved around. Click, hold, and drag. The game board can be moved in the same way. Click on your agent sources and tools to get more detailed information. Click on the attributes you collected to receive additional information. Okay, wait. So if I go back to my empire, do I have to hit collect? Oh. There we go. I just click collect. This is, this is easy. It's like plants versus zombies. And then I've got these little things that come over here. And then I can collect money from the National Rental Housing Association. So if I go over here to uh, Central Security Agency, the CSA, of course, which is famous for being very centrally located in the center of gravity of the country. Oh, I could make a deal, and it would last, it would give me two risk, and last for a minute and a half. And it looks like they would want to buy a bunch of things. I know the email addresses of that many people? Wow, already? Man, my data is just coming in like crazy, and I just don't know what to do with it. Whoa, okay. So if I say make a deal, what does that do? So while that's going, do I need to be clicking on other things to collect them? Or am I just going to keep making money over time? So there's two red lights and one blue light over here. I clearly still would like to have more email addresses, and a lot of this other stuff doesn't seem... So I have new profiles. Oh, I need to import these. Oh, that's important. That's important. And now it's also imported. Some would say that, um, you know, the nurse thing is in poor taste, or in poor health. But I have taken all of this magic, and it is, wow, I've got a lot more data about people. Credit card numbers... Preferred computer games, diet, buying habits, IP addresses, passwords. Okay, so now if I go back out here, status. Okay, I have captured 1 million of 8 million. Uh, collecting is only half the battle. You need to import them. And don't forget, every dirty detail counts. The more complete your database, the more it's worth. Okay, so let's see. So I guess I could go over here to the date and site, and I need to invest in this to get it going in the first place. So, and that'll cost me $150, and it'll run for 40 seconds. I could increase the logo, it looks like, for free. Or, nope, I've already bought that. Premium membership technology, what does that mean? Keep your users entertained. Uh, yeah, I don't care if they're bored or not. Privacy policy, the longer the, this is, the more willing people will open their hearts to you. Interesting. Okay, so don't have a ton of money, though. So maybe I'll just invest in some team members. What does a manager do? Can't do it all by myself. Uh, plus 8,000 profiles. That sounds good. And uh, let's see. Psychologist. Let's see. Not everyone willingly hands over their data. This will increase the odds that people do. Sure, that sounds good. So now I just click invest in this. 
and that'll run for a little while so then I can collect this money now I probably need to make a deal over here with this house in place so they want to know these things and I only have these other things I think so in order to figure out if somebody's trustworthy or unreliable uh, online personality test is apparently the trick for those so let's open that up and upgrade that how faithful are you are you depressed uh, let's see happy or frustrated or trustworthy or unreliable I would like to have that so we will now do that and I gotta reinvest this money it looks like so I can collect a bunch of data from over here okay I'm starting to get the hang of this so let's go ahead and so I'd only get two hundred ninety dollars from that guy four hundred ten from that one two hundred sixty from over here well I guess I might as well just make deals with everybody at all times like is there risk associated with that oh yeah there is okay so that's that's decreasing my risk meter over here but hopefully that's not continuous so let's go ahead and collect I just reached level five new agent quite ambitious aren't you somehow or another you made a new acquaintance mr. Bernie Maddock knows everyone who's anyone in the country to get things off to a good start Barney hands you two of his many contacts on a silver platter check them out immediately okay so let's go ahead and import this stuff because it's valuable but only if we import it so 1.27 million profiles so my empire so if I click on Beverly Compton Burr here so that'll lower my approval by one or increase it I haven't figured that out yet uh, for $170 she well, let's see she works at the Department of Education and manages the new central student database storing all the minute details yeah let's go ahead and purchase that Paul Pease uh, does foreclosures and knows plenty about taking things from the poor. He would probably be a very helpful fellow to get information from, so we can make a deal with him. Now I can collect all this money from everybody else here. Okay, so there's a little clock going that lets me know that. And then I can come back here. Is there anything for, ready for me to import? Oh, wow. There's a lot of information that you can get out of these uh, things, apparently. Relationship status, sexual orientation, political attitudes... Wow, okay. Chronic illness, that's a good one to know. So it looks like we're just kind of figuring out everything that we need to know in order to make the economy run more smoothly. Because, I mean, these are all things that are important to everyone, you know. If the government didn't know this, then somebody would have to. And so why not make sure everyone knows everything about everyone, and then it'll be, uh, you know, more money for my empire. So I need to come back up to here. Whoa, whoops, clicked loyalty cards. Collect, collect. Now, can Bernie Mad Dog introduce me to someone else? Let's see. No, he's probably only going to do that when I level up. If I come back down here to these guys, though, Mara Loft is in the hacker community. And she hooked me up with Uncle Enzo, who can get me a lot of information about a lot of people. 500 books. Okay, I think I need to pay attention to what I need, though. Or, like, what people want. First name, last name, date of birth. It seems like I have a lot of this stuff though I don't know let's go back in here and import these guys I'm having a hard time figuring out like things that I have see it looks like I have a lot of first name right I know the first name is 1.2 million people that should be plenty but I only have the email address of 700,000 and I have very very small amounts of information over here about everyone else those bars aren't even like partially full so I need to come back out here to my empire, collect all this money so I can invest it into things. So let's go ahead over here um, and upgrade our premium membership. Well, does that give me money? Uh, huh, I can actually make money off membership fees if I get more cash. So let's go ahead and reopen all of our selling deals because we're going to need more money. And let's come over here to let's see Uncle Enzo can get me emails IP addresses passwords Steve Sneak can get me address last name training or Tannen booth visits Tannen booth visits might be a helpful one to have let's go ahead and pay him a hundred bucks Manny Mayer is a private detective and an old friend he can hook me up with nurse Mildred let's go ahead I think that really there doesn't seem to be a disincentive to just click in everywhere all the time, right? Does that seem like how this works to you guys? Like I should just 
it essentially seems like this is a, a mechanism that I just want to continuously machinate on. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this uh, are you depressed thing. Because that'll help us with information to sell people to. Um, don't want to do logo design yet. Okay, so I can collect this money, this money. can reinitialize this, make a deal, make a deal. It's a shame that I don't have enough of this information for the Central Security Agency to give me more money, but luckily I got some more data coming through from these guys here. So we can just import that. Okay, so that's going to help me with a lot of stuff. And so it's improving the profiles of some of the people that I've got and giving me new profiles. Hey, this guy's uh, getting me some stuff now, too. Now, I can't upgrade this at all. But what happens if my, if my like, thumbs down bar hits maxes out? Risk. You're currently at risk factor 37. Uh, if your risk factor gets too high, the public will start breathing down your neck. But there's no problem you can't solve. So some of these guys are riskier than other ones. Uh, that guy has no risk. Okay, so Steve Sneak is very low risk. Nurse Mildred is very low risk. And that that's good. Now, I can't rearrange these people to link to different things really easily, can I? Now, every one of these guys, though, these are no risk at all, and they give me cash every time. But they cost me energy. Okay, so that's like hours. How many hours do I have a day? So that's good to know. Cool. So I can go ahead and collect over here from my singles site. So let's see. Education, last name. A, a debt seems really helpful. Sweepstakes. Let's see. I don't think I've run one of these. Dangle a big fat carrot in front of people. We get postal code, address, phone number, last name, first name. We can add an A pod here as a super prize. Extra question. Income. Uh, let's see. That could be helpful as well, but I can't afford it. Privacy policy I also can't afford. This will give me an extra 8,000 profiles, though. So let's go ahead and invest in that. Now we actually have to, you know, invest in the sweepstakes itself. So collect, 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 collect. What are these stars? Oh, that must be my experience bar. Okay, so let's import everything before we negotiate new deals because I have a feeling that I'm losing money when I don't negotiate new deals, like, or when I don't import before. Because, like, I'm up to one point... Yeah, see, I'm getting a lot more profiles every time now because I've upgraded and leveled up all my stuff. And this is how you build an empire, people. You know, not with at-at Imperial Walkers and whatnot, but with loyalty cards that have been upgraded. Let's see, partnership with furniture chain or partnership with bookstore chain. This would help me learn political attitudes, and this would help me learn income. Bonus program would give me more profiles which would honestly probably be the most important thing right up front. So let's go ahead and run the royalty, loyalty cards. Personality tests are five. This is three. So do some of these decrease risk? Yeah, that's what we want. We're going to decrease the risk with that guy. And then I can't invest in that right now, but let's see. We're gonna, we've got everything imported, I think, at this point that we could possibly import, except for this. Woo, there we go. New profiles, import. So having negotiated that, let's come back out here and re-talk to all these folks. 530, that's better than we were making before. 460, I'll take it. 540, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. 180. Well, you know what? It We got enough energy. That's fine. Okay, so let's see. We've got this running over here for another 17 seconds. Still don't have as many email addresses as I'd like. I'm at least collecting a lot of IP addresses. I've got... 176,000 people. That's not bad. So a lot of these, though, I'm just not really collecting enough of. I got plenty of this core data, but it's it's this other stuff that's really helpful that I'm, I'm going to need. So let's go ahead and collect this cash and invest in getting. So what do these guys need that I don't have? I need more buying habits. I need more trustworthy, unreliable. I need more debt, more income. So let's come up here to this guy, Paul Pius. He's in three down. I'm kind of getting a lot of risk right now, so I think I kind of just want to go for the low-risk people over here. And then I want to go ahead and see what I can do over here to decrease my risk. So upgrades, privacy policy, does that decrease my risk? It does, but I can't afford it. Team, the lawyer here, will give me more profits, more risk. It'll cost me more to invest, though, it looks like. 
but ah, uh, still can't afford it. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. So we're just going to come over here and import these new profiles from these loyalty cards. Come back out here and whoops, health insurance. Make a deal. Collect this money. Collect that. Let's go ahead and make a deal over here. And I've got not enough energy right now. Okay, so loyalty cards. I just uh, hired a lawyer, didn't I, over here? So what do these students do? They cost nothing. They get me extra profiles. They'll do whatever I want. Oh, yeah, we are buying a lot of those. Okay. Manager. Burning the midnight oil? Hmm. Gets us more profiles, but isn't necessarily worth it. This gets us a lot more profiles. Well... You know what, let's actually just run the thing, because right now we're just not collecting anything because we don't have the money. Okay, so we come back down here, get the money, come back down here, get the profiles, come back here to get the money, click this, import from Nurse Mildred, import from Steve Sneak, and this is all train tannin booth visits. That really seems like it would be helpful to the uh, insurance companies. So let's see, what can we get? Um, out of our loyalty cards, we're not already well. That's already running. So personality tests, upgrade, privacy policy. Can we afford it? No. That's a shame. Test your IQ. I mean, we could just do the logo design to get a little bit more out of that. But let's see here. I think I'm gonna just get these guys running again because they're so safe and so cheap, really. All you need is a few people with a lot of free time, and you'd be amazed at what you can get. Now, I guess their return on investment over time is going to decrease, so I should really just be making a deal all the time over here. Uh, I should have collected that first, but... Oh no! Protests against data abuse. There seems to be a little problem. A small group of unrelented privacy advocates, advocates have... Advocates. I know how to say it. I'm just being silly. Succeeded in inciting the populace against you. You see, you've been a little bit careless lately and done too much risk trading. Let's see. Well, so I'm just going to pay for this uh, protest campaign thing. Hey! Wow. My risk factor just dropped a ton with no real cost to me. I mean, there was some money involved, but that's... I mean, I get money, like, for breakfast every day from all these profiles of all these people that I sell. And you know what, there's so many of these people that I don't have to feel bad about any one of them, because that's how math works. The more numbers you have, the less each number counts. That's why mathematicians don't care if they're wrong, you know, in the, in the big scheme of things. I'm, I'm just kidding. That's why chemists don't care if they're wrong, and they only have so many significant digits, though. Okay, so, none of that's too crazy. So let's go ahead, I've got $2,000, privacy policy... Uh, team, 1,200 to run that. Now, let's see here. Well, the extra profiles here will really help. And so let's go ahead and run this. 430, collect all this money now. Date and site, go ahead and run this. Let's just go ahead and keep running everything, because it seems like if we can always just pay to make our problems go away, then why shouldn't we just pay to make our problems go away all the time, right? I mean, that's just efficient. You know, these people have to work, um, and so they might as well be working for me in my massive data gathering empire, obviously. So, we're just going to gather data and sell data and then move data, and then we'll just import stuff, and it'll be nice. Okay, so we can collect from there. Let's, okay, so that's my overall people number. That's my energy, my thumbs down, my level. Okay, so collect... Collect, collect, come back over here and import, import, import. I like this I, because it really dehumanifies the individual humans that are playing by, you know, you know, playing the games like the sweep takes and stuff. You know, if they were like, look at how sad this family is because they couldn't get insurance because you ruined their life with your money, then I'd be sad. I don't have enough energy to take the money that I want. How do I get energy back? I guess I have to wait a little while. Okay, so that's good to know. It takes one energy to collect money. Okay, so I can collect each of those monies one at a time. 
Uh, let's come back over here, though. These guys are just really not happy with how much I have. Which is frustrating, because, like, it seems like... Uh, I don't know. It seems like I'm doing great, and they're just, like, you know, lame. They're just like, well, we'd really prefer if you were doing slightly better. Do do do. Okay, so I'm not going to get any more money if I don't sell anything, and I'm not going to be able to sell anything. Oh, hey, I got more money. Okay, actually, then I'm okay. So let's come over here and upgrade our privacy policy. So that'll decrease our risk accrual. And invest in that. And let's see. We, let's uh, just go ahead and just run this personality test thing. So we're going to go ahead and import all this new stuff. See, the problem is just buying stuff from these individuals isn't really uh, bringing in the, the big profile data. I mean, I guess some of the data is harder to get when you're not using a nurse to, like, you know, funnel it to you. 630, that's not bad. Oh, good, because I leveled up, I got free energy. So we're just going to make a lot of deals now, because that's going to be important for us leveling up. And we're, whoops, now I'm out of money again. Okay. I'm going to get the hang of this, I swear, guys. I just uh, haven't. Okay, so now we come over here, import these 16,000 profiles from these personality tests. So, one thing I like about this game is it's my job to make a bunch of bars fill in. And I like numbers that you have to make into larger numbers. Um, that's kind of how investment banking works, and it's very, um, it's very repetitive, and, and uh, therefore it's very calming. It's just like, oh, I know how this works. I just never stop expanding my empire. Easy. You know, there's, there's not a lot of like, well, what do I do now? It's, you make the numbers bigger. Well, what if the numbers should be smaller? Well, then you're doing the wrong type of work. Find a new field. Go play lacrosse in it. I don't care. Okay. So, got plenty of money now, so I can afford to... Let's go ahead and add a uh, bookstore chain thing here. That adds some risk. Gets us more profiles, though, and gets us political attitudes, which is going to be crucial. And so we'll go ahead and invest in that. And, whoops, no money. It really seems like there would be sound in this, right? Are my headphones just not plugged in? I really hope that if there's sound in this that I'm not, um... I didn't do something wrong. How would I, uh... I don't know how to do that. Well, whatever. 